Hello fellow players of Hero Wars. I'm Jay. Welcome to Jay vs. Hero Wars. Today I'll be talking about spending your Halloween spooky coins, right? And basically how I would approach it in terms of determining how I wanted to spend them. So without further ado, let's check it out. Alright guys, so here we are in game. We have one day and six hours left related to the event that we have going on right now for claiming our coins. Um, at least that's what I believe it is. Anyway, today we're gonna be talking about spending coins. And so you can get coins, of course, right here from this pumpkin with three ghosts around it, right? You can go to the merchant and we're talking about spending your spooky festival coins. So my opinion on this is that if you're new to the game, and your heroes are not your main heroes, right? So we're talking about the main five, six, seven heroes that you use are not absolute. You should probably consider the hero soul stone chest. That's a hundred soul stones. Um, and I think it's very, very helpful for anyone who's new to the game, who doesn't have, or, you know, even if you're a veteran and you don't have all of your heroes that are in your starting lineup, right? If you use them on arena or if you use them in campaign, if your starting heroes are not, absolute level so you need 630 soul stones to do that so that's six hero soul stone chests plus a little bit more but if this will help you get to that end end goal of having an absolute hero and it's in your starting team i highly recommend that um, if you are already in a point where you don't need it then the chaos particles is a very very enticing option i think it's a very good option for anyone looking to improve their pets um, especially if your pets are not all purple yet in terms of patronage i think this is probably the next thing you definitely want to consider um, after your hero soul stone chests um, another thing is obviously if you really really want a specific skin i would say the skin stones are a great option just to get that one or two skins that you need um, i don't think it's necessary to basically get these if you need something other than like if you're just trying to power up a skin i don't think this is necessarily needed because I think you can acquire enough soul, skin stones over time in the game itself. Um, I don't really recommend the pet summoning egg. I do not recommend the stones either. But if you're in a position like me and you don't like building your items, sometimes I think trading in your coins for items may not be a bad call. Um, I did it for the, my Kark when I needed the Vanquished Absolute as well as the Drummer's Fancy. It saved me so much time and energy in terms of in-game campaign energy um, and just farming it. Because a lot of these items, especially the red ones and even like some of these orange ones, right? They just require so much energy and so many different types of items to be combined that it almost doesn't make sense. And I told everyone on my live stream as well that I already got this piercing gaze for my Aurora. I'm going to be getting this evil genius um, item as well for my Aurora to finish her off and get her to red plus two, right from red plus one. So we're going to actually buy this right here. But this is what I'm talking about. If you really need an item, I don't think it's the worst thing to get it. Um, supposing that it is um, something that you need for your main heroes. I just find that some of these items are very cumbersome. They're not really worth all the energy and you're better off just using some of these spooky festival coins. Now it's going to be a case to case basis. I don't recommend that for everybody, but for me and the situation I'm in, all my heroes are absolute. Um, a lot of my pets are in a pretty good spot. They're all at least purple. Um, I think that that is a good, you know, buy for me at this particular juncture. So I would say if you you're new to the game, or you don't have your main team, all absolute hero soul stone chests may be the way to go. Chaos particles for those of you who are looking to get your pets purple. And then after that, potentially items. And if you just want the avatars, then the avatars are in the spooky festival dolls. Um, I definitely probably will be looking to get some of these as well because I love avatars. I'm a sucker for them. So with that being said, guys, hopefully this helps you in determining how you want to use your spooky festival coins. And keep in mind, you can always hold on to them and use them at a later time. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you guys all in Dominion.